right, right here, okay? I just want you to test, is EFT a form of immunix? Yeah. See, that's the thing about all these things. That it yeah. is immunix. EFT, yeah, and actually... Um, EFT is immunix. Do you know the interesting thing? When I first... Not when I first got ill with, with where this all began, like because it began after a car crash, but when I was aware of what fibromyalgia was, when certain symptoms had got worse, I, for some reason, had a knowing just a knowing that I was going to become an EFT practitioner. And yeah, it makes sense. Well, you've certainly done a lot in a week. I mean, well, you've... I've got not much else to do. I want to just be better, so I'm putting, I'm, I'm, I'm doing what I can to get better, you could say. Yeah, well, it's the people who treat themselves like convalescents and just do this all day that cure things the way they want to cure them. Because everybody wants to cure things quickly, but most people have no time to do that, and you've had time to do it. Yeah, yeah. And you've been doing it. Because it's amazing that you've only been doing this for a week and you've gotten so far with it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's kind of, um, the system itself was the major bit to learn. But in terms of accessing stuff, I've already been doing quite a lot on my own. Um, when I learned EFT and I started reading more books on healing, I've been reading about doing inner body meditations and things like that. So you you visualize the actual part of your body with the pain. You, you see the pain. You ask why the pain is there. And then you ask the pain what you can do to heal it. And I've been doing lots of uh, experimenting with things like that anyway. And, and, and Munich just seems to be a lot faster. I um, wanted to ask you, what is the difference between Immunix and EFT? Um, Immunix is um, quicker because I, I have to question, I get a signal. Um, with Immunix, I don't need to actually tap on any of the meridian points. I can just be. I can be curled up in bed like that if I want. I can be uh, walking. Although when I'm walking, I don't necessarily feel the signal, but I at least know that I'm working on something, and I usually feel quite good. You will be getting signals when you're walking. Right. And you'll also be getting signals when you're jogging, and you can practice that today when you go jogging. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, the other thing with EFT is that you, you spend quite a lot of time on clearing one thing, I guess it's not necessarily actually one thing because you can start tapping on one thing and the gateway kind of opens and more things that are related come in and you start following threads. Um, you can also follow these threads um, with Immunix, but you will have a, an official checklist of bodies. So you know that you've officially gone through the 12 bodies, whereas with EFT alone, I don't have an official checking system. I only have the ability to know whether it's still in my mind or not. And often you know because you see people looking around as if <laughs> the problem is a physical shape in front of them. And when it's gone, they can't find it. So they just, they've, they've got their different ways of checking for what's there. What level of VFT did you get to? Um, I'm a practitioner now. Right. So you would um, you would be I, you would I be. I always used it with a lady who was very tuned into this stuff anyway. So we didn't really use the sort of beginner protocols. We often very quickly went straight into sensations and feelings of traumas and accessing entity type stuff. Um, so I'd already learned to use EFT quite intuitionally, and I find that works a lot better than other people. Um, rather than just saying, I'm stressed because of the way that mum looked at me, I'm stressed about the way that mum looked at me. It's like it's going straight to the root, which is better because you can clear them, um, everything connected. Um, but interestingly, I, I did not have the actual knowledge that I now have about our 12 bodies. That's the stuff that you don't get from doing a weekend course in EFT. You, well, you expand with EFT usually upon your own learning. Well, what, um, 
uh, are there other differences between EFT and Immunix? The testing. EFT is not a testing procedure. You can use, you know, whatever you want to use as your tester. You know, your intuition is still there if you want to just say, yeah, I do feel something, or, or I think I do still have an allergy or whatever. But Immunix having the signal gives you more, more believable feedback when you ask a question. Well, actually, what I understand about EFT is that they have all kinds of solutions for various problems, and they tell you what those are, and then you tap to implement the solution. Am I correct? You can do. Now, I want you to... You, you need to tap on the problem because you can't install a, a solution until the problem is gone. I see. Okay, so you tap on the problem. So they tell you what the problem is. You, t you tell them what's bothering you. They tell you what the problem is and where to tap. Am I right? Um, the, 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 it's true that the practitioner possibly will have an idea of what's going on with you, but they don't usually tell you what's going on with you. They leave it up to you to tell what's coming up with you. But then they tell you where to tap, right? Well, you constantly tap on the same points. And oh. the only difference is, is there are a couple of points which are particular. There are two points um, under the breast, which are particularly used for anger because of the meridians there. Okay. And there's a, a wrist point which is particularly used. It's a heart point, so it's particularly used for sadness. Okay. But apart from that, the great thing is, is it's a no-brainer for the client because they can, whilst they're going through this, just keep tapping on the same point. So they tap on the same points and they say what's bothering them and presumably the th what's bothering them clears up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And you see their face change, their voice change, sometimes emotions just fizzle away and then you tune in with them and you ask them what's happening for you and they will usually tell you, I don't know. And I don't know means it's cleared. It means they've gone neutral. I, there's, something, um, there's something I want you to test right, right here, okay? I just want you to test, is EFT a form of Immunix? Yeah. See, that's the thing about all these things. That it yeah. is Immunix. EFT, yeah, and actually... Um, EFT is Immunix. Do you know the interesting thing? When I first... Not when I first got ill with, with where this all began, like because it began after a car crash, but when I was aware of what fibromyalgia was, when certain symptoms had got worse, I, for some reason, had a knowing, just a knowing that I was going to become an EFT practitioner. And I then, I, at the time, I didn't want to say it to anyone because number one, people would be like, what the hell is EFT? Number two, people were like, how can you just know something like that? Some people were disputing it, saying, well, you've worked so hard in your existing career, why would you leave it behind? You know, there were all these things, but I kept saying to myself, but I just have this real want to do this. Um, and I actually, I got onto a course when I was very ill, because I wanted to do the course to find out how to help myself. Um, I didn't have money to get help elsewhere either. Um, and the practitioner allowed me to do some work for him via Skype in exchange for a place on the course. So I became an EFT practitioner, but I wasn't actually well enough to do the exam and all of that. I just started practicing on people voluntarily. Um, when I saw that I was getting such great results, um, leading people and seeing how, the changes in those people, I realized that actually I didn't need to consider myself a student anymore because I was actually able to help people already. Yeah, My right. My experience had done that. Yeah. yeah. Well, you yeah. did the same thing with the Munich the other day with your friend, the, the woman, you know? You yeah. just started doing it with her and bingo, there it was. Yeah, you, you start to see that when someone's talking about their problem that you can kind of go, oh, that's easy to sort out. It's <laughs> 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 for this stuff. But you know if someone wants to stick with a problem, then they want to stick with a problem, that's cool, that's for them. When they're ready, they will usually, I guess, know who to turn to. So the car accident was the, the, the incident that created the post-traumatic stress syndrome? Yeah. How long ago was that? Europe. 
and the last day of filming, because I used to work from film and TV, um, last day of filming. Um, How long ago was it? It was December 2010. I know that you've done a lot of really good new age things, like Reiki, I guess, right? Um, for me, I use EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique. So, and now I'm doing healing codes as well. And I've done a lot of seminar work, you know, and... Uh, what sort of seminar work? Well, the, at the beginning, I, uh, I took a seminar with a character named Dov Baron, who's working out of Vancouver right now. And he's really charismatic. His purpose in life is to raise consciousness. So he's really in your face, kind of like, you're depressed? Stop that! Just fucking get up and do something! You know, like he's that kind of... Uh, speaker. So he kind of kicked me off my sofa, you know. I was uh, completely, utterly depressed and watching TV my whole life, you know, right. when I was, wasn't working, which often I wasn't, you know, just in a low-grade depression and mm -hmm, sure. basically like that. Anyway, so I started with him and he kind of kicked me out of that and got me into the whole law of attraction kind of stuff and, you know, that's quite a few years ago. And then I started to sort of... When was that? that? How, how many years ago? Uh, that, what year? Uh, that would be seven years ago, eight years ago. Yeah, so seven or eight years ago. Like 2003 and, you're talking. Uh, it's 2012 now, so seven or eight years ago, yeah. 2005. 2005, about, about 2005 or six. So. At that point, I uh, woke up and I uh, quit my government job. I divorced my really not great relationship of 11 years and uh, started a whole new life. I rented an apartment on the beach. I learned how to kayak. I learned how to sail a boat. I played tennis every day. I went for lunch every day with my friends and stuff. Yeah, I just went crazy. But so your so, life, you took your life into your hands. You know, you went exactly. to this. An, an, an inspirational seminar. Yes. Uh, what was the name of the seminar? So, uh, what, was, what, what do they call the seminar? So, Dov Baron, uh, it's Baron Mastery Institute, is uh, he's the, the, the company that's, that's running. And I, I forget the name of the. Let me ask you. Okay, yeah. that, that's good. I think you've got, the, got something people could look up there that you gave them just that's now. So, that, so, that's Baron what I want to just yeah. get. You know, like clear about something that people can research on the web for themselves. But the question I have here is what would you say the difference is between that and Immunix? Well, I have, I have a sense sort of that Immunix is kind of hard for people who've never done any kind of energy healing or never been exposed to that, the sort of alternative, the new age stuff, like as you put it. You know, I, I find that people who've never stepped into any of that stuff, they have no idea that any of this stuff is happening underneath. They just, right. you know, they're just perceiving the flat land. You know, they're just yeah. perceiving yeah, right. that. <laughs> you know, I find that really uh, my suspicion is that people who are living like that, if they see a Munich, they just, they won't even see it. Right. You know, they'll just be like, they, they'll be like, that's weird. Okay, next. You know, what, like, what do you think? Just, what do you think happens to them when they see the cure drive? Like those same people who don't have no experience with anything, and then they encounter the bumper sticker on my car that says the cure drive. How do that? How do you think they relate to it? I still, my, I, you know, my sense is that people would feel like. What's that? You know, like there's so much stuff out there. There's so much advertising and all of these. There's so much information out there that I'm not sure it would, you know, if somebody's not ready for that, they, they probably wouldn't even give it a second thought. But I don't know, you know, because right. for me, I'm different. Right? Well, let like, me go I'm back to the, the, the basic question with, you know, which is what's the difference between this and Dolph? And Dolph? Yeah, Dolph Baron, you know, just for you, you know, like the, you know, the, th just well, you know, the way ha well, the way you've experienced that and this. What's the difference in in your experience of what have you been doing this for like three weeks? Yeah, it's only like four weeks. Or three four weeks. So what what's the difference? So the the difference for me is 
that immunix is very subtle. Like I find it to be very subtle, uh, but extremely powerful. I don't mean that it's you know it's light or anything. I find it very very deep, but I feel like that's because I get it. You know, I know what's going on. Right. But like with Dov Baron or you know just sort of those kind of seminars, it's you know how to have your best life and become rich and beautiful and you know like it's that kind of catch. Yeah, it's not subtle. It's not so. (laughs) 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 Well, you know, let's put it this way. Um, I doubt seeing like, like when you you did his workshop and you went kayaking, and I started doing this, and I went for long walks in the park doing this, and that's a difference for me. If I just share about myself, you know. Um, can you see any other differences? Well, you know, the whole, the, the, the major difference is kind of the, um, you know, the point of Immunix is to cure things, right? Yeah. And so other seminars and stuff that I've, I've participated in, it didn't have that kind of, it's like, yes, you can be rich and you can have perfect health and all this kind of stuff using the law of attraction or whatever, but it was all still sort of like exterior. Right. You know, even though like law of attraction stuff, like whatever you, you think will change the outside and, you know, if you have positive thoughts or if you use your feelings and, you know, and change the way that you think, then your outside will change. Mm-hmm. So that's it's that's it, though. But with Immunix, it's like just rearrange your whole system. <laughs> uh-huh. You know, uh-huh. it's like purposely, intentionally go in and take out the crap and put in the good stuff and rearrange your whole system. So it's it's very different, very different. Right. Well, now, see, here we come to, uh, you were saying that you're an EFT practitioner, no? Yeah, yeah. Now, that means, do you, do you actually work at that? I mean, you do, you do that with people? Um, I'm certified, but I haven't started working with people, so, so I you, have a little bit of a, you know, I, I'm not so much a one-on-one kind of person. I'm not really interested in sitting with people one-on-one. I'm more of a sort of an instructor. You know person. what? I have to say, me too. I have to go, I have to go with you and you know you know Barb. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know her, but I, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, okay. She's a one-on-one person. Mm-hmm. That's what she likes. She's good with groups and she does them. Mm-hmm. But and she's great. She can, Barb can stop a party and and everybody will listen to her and she'll teach thirty people how to cure something. Awesome. You know she does that and she goes to a lot of parties. So that's a. You know, that's an option for her, you know, because in Santa Fe there are a lot of parties. It's a party culture. You know, every week there's like two or three parties that, you know, people... And there's this, like, network of, like, hundreds of people, you know, who are, like, involved in, in that stuff. I used to live in Santa Fe. So, uh, <clears throat> so that's what she likes. Me, on the other hand, Barb is a perfect henchwoman for me because... She likes the one, like, I just throw people at her. Mm. You know, I say, oh, call Barb, you know, and she'll spend hours with somebody. Mm-hmm. And I just, I just go bananas. I used to be a shrink. <laughs> and I quit, you know, after three years. I couldn't stand it. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, um, it was funny because I loved studying it and I, I really enjoyed, you know, but when I went into practice, I just, you know, I just, I saw the limitations of it. I, you have to do it to see the limitations. So there's my comparison of Munix with shrinking. But back to you, um, and back to EFT. What is EFT? So the emotional freedom technique is using your fingertips to tap on meridian points in your body, which causes a relaxation response and you connect it with whatever uh, you're trying to clear, so a negative feeling, a phobia, or any kind of sort of problem that you have. So when you're consciously thinking about the problem and you cause a 
physical relaxation response, it breaks the pattern, the repetitive, the habit patterns that are associated with those particular thoughts or actions or that kind of stuff. So, or to just do that little tapping like you demonstrated a minute ago. Sure. So it's this tapping. So it's okay. just a tapping system where we just tap on a certain number of meridians and that basically reactivates the whole system. Right. So now so let me ask this, okay? Just yeah. from that short explanation of what it is, then what is Immunix and how do you uh, relate the two? So give me the elevator pitch like you did with EFT on a Munix. Okay, give me a second to... <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good question. You know, I have to, I have to think about that for a second. So my reaction is to say um, it's working in collaboration with God or the universe or whatever you want to call it. Uh, to align yourself with God or the universe or the Okay, so that's what a Munix is. That's what I would. That's what I would call it. Okay, and now how? What? What's the difference between the two things? Well, you know, EFT doesn't. Does it have any God in it? Well, I mean, everything does, but it doesn't have that collaboration. Perhaps I'm not sure. Okay, so, so what you're actually saying, which is true, by the way, is that Immunix is a religion. Th this is a church. Yeah. This is actually a church, you know, and people donate to it. EFT is a business, and people join, and they, uh, you know, pay for the services, and you charge people, and so on. And we do everything by donations, and we, it's all about connecting to God. And like any church... You know, like I'm watching, this is an interesting thing I'm, I'll share with you. We were talking about Christianity before. Mm -hmm. I'm watching, there's a television series called The Borgias. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I've been watching that. And this guy is the most, he's the most lecherous, you know, treacherous person on earth. And yet, and yet, he's the Pope and, he's, and he wants to be connected to God. And this is, this is us, like we watch ourselves moving away from God and we bring ourselves back. Mm -hmm. You know, and that, see, that's, that's integral into the whole curing. Mm -hmm. You know, because, boy, when you're disconnected from God, you can't cure a hangnail. <laughs> but, see, the problem is when you can be very God-connected and still not cure your cancer. So you actually have to kill the cancer cells and take the cancer out of the DNA and do all the activity, the actions, and God will do them with you, but you have to do them. God doesn't... And, you know, so I'll tell you something. There have been people who've cured things... Like, I was listening to a lecture by a Christian minister named Joel Osteen. You ever hear of him? He's a good guy, and he's a very sweet person. And he was talking about how his mother <clears throat> got cancer, she was di diagnosed terminal, and she walked around the house saying, God, you don't want me to die, it's not my time you know, to take this away. Well, that was 20 years ago, and she was sitting in the front row of the sermon, <laughs> listening, listening to the sermon in this auditorium where he was speaking. So, so people, cure, people do cure just with pure God connection or the law of attraction and so on, all that stuff happens. But what we're trying... See, they, she doesn't know how she cured her cancer. You know, other than that she asked God and he did it. But what we're trying to do... What, what happened, actually, was she did, in an unintentional and possibly accidental way, what we train people to do intentionally. So that's what you're doing. You're training yourself to do these things intentionally. And uh, so I'd say that's another... What, I mean, what, how does that differ, since you're inside of EFT in a way that I'm not, mm. how does that d differentiate from EFT? Well, like I said, in EFT we don't talk about God and, you know, and collaborating with God or anything to do with anything sort of religious. It's definitely a non-religious sort of technique, you know. Although, is it really? I, I can't, you know, what's really going on? 
you know, nobody really talks about that, you know, what's re what is really going on, you know, it's just by tapping on you, getting a relaxation response by, you know, and all the energy meridians and all that kind of stuff, you know, so we're talking about one energy body, yeah. and all the stuff, you know, like just the, the, you know, the chakra system, basically, the, the Chinese map of the energy system. Well, you energy. just said something there, I don't want to go past that so fast, let's go, hmm. let's roll back. Sure. You said you're talking about one energy body. Basically, you know, and and uh, which think, one? Which one are you talking about? Well, in EFT, that would be the only one. Yeah. Well, which one is it? Well, that's the thing. We don't talk about that, right? You don't talk about what? About what the energy body is, or you mean they don't say what energy body they're working on? No. In EFT, they don't say they're working on the etheric body. No, no, of course not. Why don't they say that? Well, that's what they're working on. Why don't they say they're working on it? Well, because they don't know that. They don't know they're working on the etheric body. I've never met anybody who has told me that, so... Really? You well, know, now you just taught me something about EFT, you know? And I'll mm -hmm. tell you something. I've looked over the EFT website and watched some EFT movies and and so on, so I thought I knew a little, but now I'm realizing that you know, you know a lot more than I do about it. <laughs> and I'm glad I'm having this conversation with you. You know, it's basically, uh, it's more treated like an acupressure, you know, like it's acupressure. That's the, that's the angle that we go from, especially... Yeah, but acupressure works on the etheric body. But if we start talking about the etheric body, a lot of people who just want to solve their problems and don't have any interest in spiritual stuff will start going, okay, whatever, and go the other direction. You know, you know I want to say, there's something I want to share with you right now, mm -hmm. and I think that this is important for me to tell you and everybody you know, that watches this movie, which is, the real truth is that, like, well, we've put up a web college and anybody can access it and it's here for everyone, okay? We, in that sense, we have not betrayed or excluded anybody. Like, we're not saying, hey, you know, but the truth is, we're only interested in certain people. And those are the people who are not like the person who you just described. Yeah, exactly. And you know, when you talk about how you don't like working w with people one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. maybe you would if you found somebody who was really interested in deep. Yes, yeah. But, no, I, I agree. But yes. see, the problem is people who just want to solve their problems and so on, you can't pay me enough money to work with them. And you know, <laughs> maybe it's because I'm almost 70 or whatever, but Really, I was the same way when I was shrinking, and that was in the early 70s. Mm -hmm. And I just didn't want to do it. And I had great patience. I love my patients, and I, I started doing seminars with them. I found that this, this seminar, you know, Dr. Phil said the same thing. You know who Dr. Phil is? Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, well, there's a famous quote of his, you know, that I'll share with you. He said that he was doing couples counseling with this couple, and he said, I can see why your marriage is breaking up. I don't like either one of you. <laughs> so the idea was, you know, if they could maybe become more likable, generally, that maybe their marriage would work better. You That's know? one of my, my rules of relationship, is deal with your own shit. Yeah. Well, Dr. Phil is enlightened, you know, I like him. He's, he's funny. And fun to listen to. Well now, um, okay, so we can, we can move on. What I wanted to